Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new product review and this time we are going to make a look to the Thousand Songs Codex so this is the version in English um, yeah, is the is have been um, released recently the, uh, this month and we are going to make a look what we have inside okay uh, yeah, we have, we talk about I think it's about yeah 90, 95 pages of a book, so it's not the thicker. Uh, and to be fair, I don't, there is not too many new units. I think there is only one new unit for this codex. So we, we are going to make a look later on. So we can see it's a full color, for hard cover, nice artwork, and, and yeah. Let me see if I can just remove this layer a little bit. Okay, so here we have a little bit less glare, but yeah, as, as the paper is saturated, it's difficult to eliminate completely. So we, we have here, okay, we have we start with the background as usual. So we will look at the content at the beginning of the book. So we have about um, um, up to page 27 for background, and then as of page 40 to uh, so 55 pages of rules. So there are more and more rules on these books. And here we can see where well, we have the, the background. They talk about the two main characters, Magnus and Ariman. To be fair, I like more Ariman, the creator of the Robic Marines. And then we have les yeah, the different cabals, legions, and they talk about all the background. So I will not. Uh, and, and I like as well. We have new color schemes for the Thousand Sons. Um, yeah, I normally I paint them with my uh, with the uh, traditional one, but you can see that this. There is a different ways to paint them, and you can see all of them have very nice artwork here and there. So it's really, really nice book. We have then the the showcase, okay, very typical where we can see all the units and all the miniatures. Uh, and here I was looking if there is a new, because there was a release of a new guy on the box. And here you can see also well. I like this. You have the color scheme for other type of um. Uh, all, all, all other color schemes that you can use, and yeah, we have the zangors and so on. Okay, let's go. Then we have the rules, and then the, the rules where well, we are going to have rules for match play and for um, uh, crusade rules for narrative, and of course, for open, all those rules can be used at the end, right? So, we have here first the, the, the secondary missions for, for the as usual, right? The second, the secondary missions they get it for the thousand sons, the detachment abilities, the cult legends. So here we have six cults that we can choose from. We have as well the own stratagems, okay? Uh, the warlord traits and the infernal packs, and then we have all the relics here and the psychic powers, okay? So you can see this is uh, unique from the. Uh, that is when you have an infernal master that is a new type of character this is a new one right so before the battle genetic packs for infernal master I think this is a new one I will I will look uh, no when we have the and then we have the crusade rules uh, I have not read the crusade rules yet for this uh, codex that uh, it, these are all that we have as well what is normal in, in the crusade rules right what is the different agendas you can choose from the requisition things that you can have the specific uh, artifacts okay and then the, the, all the upgrades that you can get during the crusade uh, and then we go at the end we have always the, the data sheet okay and here we have the different um, rules that you the generic rules and we start with the character so we have um, first of, uh, of all um, Ariman okay and this is the new guy, this is the Infernal Master, okay? And this is Infernal, and this is a Psyker, this is a, a Thousand Sons Demon Prince. Yeah, the only Infernal is this guy here. So this is a new, a new type of character, right? So it's, yeah. And we have as, as additional powers. Then we have the Sorcerer, the Exalted Sorcerer, and the Sorcerer on Terminator Armor. And then we have the cultists, the Zangors, and we have the Rubik Marines as the line. And in the lead we have the Hellroot, the Scarab Occult Terminator, Zangor, 
Zango and light it and this is a fast attack the curse spawn and then we go to transport no there is no heavy support okay no heavy support for them no um, all the heavy support normally will come I, I don't know why they don't have land riders ah yeah the heavy support is here then why we have the reno before it's curious they put the transport now I thought that was the other way around, normally the transport is after, but okay, we have the transport and now we have the heavy support. Yeah, we have the Mutalit Vortex Beast. This was a fantasy miniature that was, has been moved uh, to the Thousand Sons, okay? Uh, I, I like, I think if, uh, if I do expand my Thousand Sons, I think I will, I will put a Mutalit Vortex Beast, because it's something that uh, I would like to paint. And I think you can use it in both, right, on, on Age of Simmer and on... Uh, here on, on this codex. We have the Chaos Vindicator, the Chaos Blind Rider, the Filer, Forge Fin, Molar Fin. And they also have, um, yeah, and then we have the Chaos Predator and the Predator Annihilator, or the Destructor and Annihilator. And then we have as well as a Flyer, the Hell Drake. And of course, at the end, we have Magnus the Red because he is a Lord of War. So, all the units. No, the only new, really new unit that we have in this book is the Infernal Master, okay? And the Infernal Master, I'm thinking, is not a Psyker, okay? So I have a different powers. I was looking, let's make a look a little bit to the Infernal Master, because it's a new thing we have in this book. It was coming in the box where they are fighting the, the Grey Knight, so it makes sense. The day we let as well have a new character, if I'm not mistaken. Just the other thing I like on the new codex is, is that uh, now for the cult you have what is specific of the cult. So if they have a specific, uh, here we only have psychic um, power, warlord trait, and sorcerer's arcanus, so special, special. Um, oh, Special psychic power, special power. Um, but in the other codexes, we have as well here if they have a specific stratagems. So this means that these schools they don't have a specific stratagems. Okay, I just wanted to check one time, one thing for oh, these infernal powers, infernal packs. So before the pack, uh, before the battle, generate infernal pack model from your army that knows the infernal packs, uh, infernal master. Sorry model from your army knows infernal packs and roll a d6 on generate so oh, you can either roll 1d6 and generate each pack randomly okay and what is this is this pack is successfully select one enemy unit within 30 inches of invisible um, to this infernal master if that unit contains six or more models of so one mortal wound uh, until the start of your next command, face extract two to the advance. But how oh, this is you just generate if this pack is successful, start okay. If this pack is successful, but how you make the pack successful is not explained here. I'm just curious now to see what is this, and then just um, let me check here. This model can attempt to manifest a psychic power in your psychic phase. Okay, also an attempt to deny one psychic power. Okay, so the nose on top of is also Psyker. The Infernal Master is as well Psyker and Packs. This model knows two packs. Interesting. In your command phase, if this model is on the battlefield, it can attempt to make a pack in nose that has not already been attempted by a frame model in, in the battle round, okay? So it's like a sorcerer. It's, it's like a, a sorcerer, like a, it's a priest and a sorcerer together. Interesting, interesting. I like it. I like that. So, and yeah, as I was saying, this is a, a different unit, this is a new unit, and then we have at the end the points and the weapon profiles, okay? Uh, I don't want to go in more details here, just wanted to show you what you have. So, um, we have uh, the codex here uh, for the Thousand Sons 9th edition. 
I didn't have time to look in detail everything. Uh, so, but uh, here I just wanted to give you an overview of what is the content of the codex. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give a like if you have liked it, share. You think other people can be interested and as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.